Hello guys, it's me Nate again. In this blog post, I will be recounting the end to another bloody smartphone patent war between two giants in the industry, Apple and Elon. So, uh, this war was more recent than the other one I described in my earlier post. If we likened the first one to World War I, then this one would be analogous to World War II. So, uh, since then, several world uh, smartphone patent wars have ensued, many of which are still in the works. Um, as long as inventors keep creating new technologies and as long as capitalism reigns in the free world, then competition will only continue to speed up, thus deepening the pools of smartphone patent blood brought about by these ruthless tech litigation wars. So uh, what happened here? In January 2012, Elon Microelectronics Corp., which is a Taiwan-based technology company, announced that it had settled its pending litigation with Apple over uh, touch technology patents. Um, according to Reuters, the settlement includes a $5 million payout from Apple and an agreement to cross-license touch-related patents. So as we learned in class from last week, cross-licensing agreement occurs when two or more parties grant a license to one another for the exploitation of the subject matter claimed in one or more uh, of the patents each company owns. Uh, this can be a hopeful solution to intense battles between technology companies might even save some money that would have been spent patent litigation cases. Uh, in the best cases, this money could maybe be redirected toward research and development, thus improving the products of both competing companies and making the lives of everyone generally better. Uh, so originally, Elon had sued Apple as early as 2009, claiming that its MacBook, MacBook Pros, and iOS devices violated two of Elon's patents related to multi-touch sensing technology, which is something most of us use every single day with our smartphones. Um, Elon had already been successful two different times in patent litigation cases against Synaptics, which is a touch technology company that was involved in early iPod touch wheel designs. Um, as expected, Apple countersued over alleged infringement of its own touch patents, and to cover all its bases, Elon filed a parallel complaint with the ITC, but the ITC ultimately ruled that Apple had not violated Elon's patents according to the construction of the claim. So uh, this favorable ruling for Apple on the side of the ITC was not enough to guarantee a win for them in federal court. As discussed earlier, a $5 million settlement um, occurred in which Apple had to pay Elon, which is neither that good or bad for either company. Obviously, it's better for Elon because they won, but $5 million is practically pocket change for Apple, which holds which proudly holds billions of dollars um, to its name. So in a case like this, it just makes more sense, it seems like, for Apple to settle, pay the few million, um, and cross-license, rather than try to destroy the other company or spend millions of dollars on its defense. Um, so here it worked out for both companies, kind of, and its customers likely benefited from the settlement. So go cross-licensing. Seemed like it was the good solution here. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed my videos. This might be my last one. Um, thank you very much, and have a good week.